How goes it, everybody? Welcome back. I guess you're welcoming me back. To another rendition of the 10 Minute Sports Report. I'm your host, Captain Boring. Uh, so, yeah, we were off for the Memorial Day holiday weekend. I then ran out of time to post yesterday. That would have been uh, Tuesday's episode, Tuesday the 30th. So I'm back now. I'll get you all caught up with what happened over the weekend. I'll fill you in on some storylines going forward. So here's the deal. We're getting into summer. We have the uh, Stanley Cup Finals in the NHL. We have the NBA Finals, which I'll jump into both here in just uno moment. Uh, We have NFL offseason. We have college football offseason. Really, as soon as the games are done, there's not much many storylines that pop up on a daily basis. So here's what I want. I want everyone to who listens on a regular basis, comment down below. What do you want me to talk about on a daily? Are there storylines that you want more info on? Are there things that you want me to fill in the gaps for you? Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment below. You also can follow us on Instagram at fourth one podcast. DM me storylines. Uh, at fourth and one podcast and say cover this in your 10 minute sports report uh do something and i'll do what i can it doesn't have to be any of the major sports i'm talking nfl nba nhl and mlb it can be a far out one if you want and i'll do all the research i can doesn't guarantee i will be any good at it but it is what it is so feel free to jump in at fourth and one podcast dms speaking of at fourth and one podcast new episode this friday 6 a.m me and francie trash can are going to jump on tonight and record it but for now today is your 10 minute sports report for wednesday the last day of may 31st 2023 So on Memorial Day, after everyone was done drinking and eating and settling down to watch a great Game 7 between the Boston Celtics at home, who have rallied from a 3-0 deficit against the Miami Heat, the 8th seed Miami Heat, I should say, at home, only the fourth team ever to force Game 7 after trailing three games to none. Everyone's excited. Everyone's buckled in for one of the best games of the year. It was anything but. It was an absolute romp by the Miami Heat. 103-84. to They just took apart the Boston Celtics. Here's the problem. As series in... I, I, I can only speak for NBA because this is only pertains to them as series go deeper and deeper the more and more teams who are desperate shoot a three because three pointers can either be a knockout blow or they're going to be the death of you and they were the death of the boston celtics they shot nine of 42 from three they only shot 39 percent from the floor which some of that is the three-point shooting But when you can't get any three-pointers going, they guard the paint. Uh, Driving for layups are a lot harder. Driving for closer jump shots are a lot harder. So all of that is a lot harder is a lot harder when you're not hitting the three. Conversely, the Miami Heat shot 50% from three, only shot 28 of them, made 14, and shot 50% from the floor. Or 48.8%. So round up. Jimmy Butler had 28. Caleb Martin had 26. So it will be the 8th seeded Miami Heat. Against in the East. out Against the 1 seed in the West. The Denver Nuggets. Who swept the Lakers. And have been off for a good week and a half. The finals start tomorrow. Thursday June 1st. On ABC. I, I think the first one's like at 8 p.m. 8.30, something like that. So be sure to tune into that because I, I think we're in for an exciting finish. I like the Nuggets. Jokic is playing the best basketball in the world right now. So I like the Nuggets to prevail. I like it in six games, it being a hard-fought battle. But don't think the Miami Heat are... I, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised if the 8 seed Miami Heat win the whole thing. Speaking of that a little bit, Jalen Brown is due for a contract extension, five years, $295 million. So just a little quick math, and if you would allow for rounding up, that's $60 million a year. 
Jason Tatum right now is in the middle of a $250 million contract. So the Celtics have to decide whether they are going to stay in the running for championships if two guys on their team are taking up a majority of the salary cap at making over $500 million. Not to mention that Tatum only has two to three years, I think, left on his deal. And so when his contract comes due, it's going to be well over 300 probably 350 by that time. So they really got to make a decision. Uh, their GM, Brad Stevens, who was their coach until this year, or until last year, will make that decision. Uh, there are speculating that the Sixers and Embiid could get involved. The Sixers will trade for Jalen Brown. That would take care of the Embiid conundrum, not being able to get past the second round. It would give the Celtics a little more rim protection, et cetera, et cetera. So stay tuned through the summer for that f NBA free agency come second week of July is just fascinating. So I'll talk about whatever you want me to talk about come that time. The Lord Stanley Cup final is all set, and again, people were buckling down for a great game six. They did not get it. The Vegas Golden Knight blew out the Dallas Stars. They used three goals in the first and really just put it away from there. One goal in the second and two goals in the third. Carrier, Carlson, Colster. Uh, uh, Carlson scored twice, and Amadio. Got it. Amadio did score one time in the third. So uh, Vegas really just put the hammer down on the road. I might mention to win six to nothing. The first game of the Stanley Cup is Saturday. Matthew Kachuk. And I don't even know the Vegas uh, Knights Golden Star. So Matthew Kachuk will take on the Golden Knights along with uh, the rest of the Panthers and the Golden Knights. Let's jump back to a little NBA news that did break today. Warriors GM Bob Myers has stepped down from the team from being the GM. He was the GM for the last 12 years for the Golden State Warriors. So that takes you back to 2011. Some notable things that were done under him was the Kevin Durant signing. The Draymond Green re-signing, the Klay Thompson drafting, the uh, Steph Curry drafting, uh, the Jordan Poole drafting. He was a terrific GM is kind of what I'm getting at here. So he's going to step down. Many are speculating because Klay Thompson has one year left on his deal. Draymond has one year left on his deal. Steph Curry, or I'm sorry, uh, Steve Kerr has one year left of the deal. That this was going to be, this upcoming season was going to be a last dance situation for everyone involved. If you don't know what The Last Dance is, go Google it, go watch that documentary. It's 10 parts. It's excellent. It's worth your time. Even if you're not a sports fan, it dives into Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. Just go watch it. It's fantastic. So many are speculating that Bob Myers can see that th this upcoming season is probably the last for the Golden State Warrior and this trio and this core. So probably what's going to happen is they're going to blow it up after this season, trade away pieces, and just start getting draft picks and to try to shoot for it again in another five years or so. Or the owner did come out and said that he wants to still compete for championships and Bob Myers is, is looking at it realistically and like, mm, you're going to have to take some you're either going to have to pay a lot of money or you're going to have to redo your expectations. And so he uh, wants out. I don't know the real reason. Being a GM of a pro sports team seems like a full-time, round-the-clock, 24-7, 365 kind of job. He's been doing that for 12 years. I'm not going to add up the hours or the days because I'm not that smart. So do it yourself. Jimmy Butler was... So confident that the 8 seed Miami Heat were going to make the NBA Finals even before the play-in game that he offered NBA's final ticket to uh, tennis star Coco Gruff before they were even before their first round matchup. They Miami Heat had to play two games, lost the first, had to win the second, which they trailed in the fourth quarter of with less than three minutes to go. Just to make the first round against the Milwaukee Bucks. And that's where we picked it up from there. So he was so confident. And that's been happening. And I just thought that that was cool and funny. 
to some hockey news. Speaking of GMs, the Maple Leafs hire Brad Trevling, Trev Living, as the next GM. Uh, the Leafs parted ways with former uh, GM Kyle Dubas. Earlier this month, opting not to renew his contract that was set to expire in June. Dubas has subsequently been tied to the Pittsburgh Penguin GM vacant vacancy slot. There's words. The Seattle Kraken off of a formation of an expansion team just a little bit ago and now made a deep run into the playoffs, including beating the defending champions Colorado Avalanche, have signed <clears throat> excuse me, their general manager, Ron Francis, to a three-year contract extension that will run through 26-27 season. Let's get you caught up on all of the baseball things going on. The Pittsburgh Pirates currently on on our are on a one-game win streak. They sit at exactly 527 and 27. They sit one game back of the Milwaukee Brewers for the N, uh, the NL Central lead. Since Memorial Day, they lost, or since we last touched base with the Pirates, they beat the Mariners 11 to six, then lost three straight. Two to the Mariners, one to the Giants. They beat the Giants yesterday, and they are currently playing as of this moment, and they are beating the Giants 4-2 to in the top of the fourth inning. One fun fact for you, the Nuggets mascot, Rocky is his name, gets paid $625,000 a year. He's the highest paying mascot in NBA history. So just just to be clear, your life choices led you to whatever you're doing. But I guarantee, well, I don't know my audience, but I guarantee most of you are not making $625,000 like Rocky the mascot, who I assume is played by one person, but could be multiple. And I that would be my question. Are they splitting that multiple ways or is it one person? Either way, your choices led you to try to be a, great stand-up member of society and that person's choices puts on a cougar mountain lion costume i'm not really sure what it is and makes much much more than you so on that happy note I'm getting out of here. Thank you, everyone, so much for listening. Go ahead and check out the uh, brand new episode of Fourth and One Podcast on Friday morning. We are talking about ESPN just announced the start times for early college football slates. We are also playing true or false. So that's going to be lots of fun. Go check out that brand new episode, hour long, easy listening. You can turn us off when we get annoying. I've been talking three minutes past 10 minutes. Peace out. God bless. Wash your hands, you filthy animals. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.